Those numbers are still keeping you busy? And they're doing a good job, too. You know me. I've never been a quitter. I feel strange being back here. I don't think I've been in your cafe in a while. Almost two and a half years. Anna kept coming in. But you stopped. You noticed that? I could tell you two dears weren't gonna make it. It broke my heart. It sounds like you knew before I did. Gotta have one eye on the customer and one eye on the books. Not that I really want to keep an eye on the books, mind you. Hmm. Uh, say, hun, would you mind if I finish this? Oh, yeah. Of course. Good luck with your book balancing. Mm-hmm. For the weeds have been steadily growing. Betting there will be a few more cups before she leaves. Some things never change. Sam, I didn't think you'd actually show up. I didn't think I would either. But hey, sometimes we surprise ourselves. So, uh, I hear you got in a fight after I left the wake? It was really more of a scuffle than a fight. A bit of tit for tat. Oh, well, if it was just a bit of friendly fisticuffs. Yeah, I don't know if I could call it friendly. You haven't seen Dennis today, have you? Why? Afraid your powerful blows laid him up? <laughs> so what are you working on? <laughs> I'm working on an article on how nature does its best to reclaim the land after a strip mining operation. Why are you looking for Dennis? I can tell something has you spooked. I can always tell. Go on, tell her. You could honestly use a non-imaginary person to confide in. She might slow me down, or try to involve the cops. She might do those things, yes, or she might be someone who you can trust, who can help. I woke up today and my shirt was covered in blood. Blood? What happened? I don't know. Last night, pills and alcohol mixed. It's all a blur. That's why I'm looking for Dennis. Have you tried the Basswood Jungle? He likes to work weekends. No, not yet. I'll do that right now. Sam, is there anything I can do to help? Oh, uh, nah. I'm just gonna do my own thing. <laughs> oh, Sam. What have you done? Seems Walter's got a lot on his mind. I know the feeling. Samuel, Samuel, my young soul, are you still haunting this pallid town? There are a few things I have to clear up, some last boxes to check. Careful now. They say in the details lies the devil. I don't think that's what that's supposed to mean. Perhaps not, perhaps not, but something to think about nonetheless. I'll keep that in mind. You know, I'm glad I ran into you. If I may bend your ear for a moment. I've been thinking lately about age, life, the turn of the clock. No one gets sharper with age. When do you think it's time to hang up the saddle? A true cowboy rides until the last day they can ride. I had a feeling you'd say that. I have a lot to think about. Thank you for your ear, but soon I must have sconed. Sunday lunch with mother is sacred. Call on me any time, young Samuel. Any time. I've got a lot to think about, my boy. A lot to think about. Locked. I should check the back. 
Look what we got here. Showing your face in town again. I thought you were smarter than that. But I'm glad we ran into you. We have unfinished business after all. Joel, look. Careful. I don't want to have this conversation again. We clear? Nice sucker punch. <laughs> Got some bite. Well now, seems you want a beaten. I can oblige. De Declan's right down the street. This is a small town. There's not enough room for you in it. 